Hey, hope you guys are good. You look very well, what can I say? I'm here today in the uh, awesome studio of my good friend, Mr. Dan Coffey. He's got it all. He's got the Back to the Future car. He's got some uh, nice pictures of guitars on his computer. I'm not so sure about this guy, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to give you a little guitar lesson today. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, two-handed tapping. Um, this is a little section taken from one of my new songs. This is called Wildfire. And uh, check out the... Uh, the video, the YouTube video of that, you can have a little look. This is in the middle of it. The tuning it goes a bit like this. It goes D, G, D, G, A, D. So it's a bit like the dad gad tuning, if you're familiar with that, but your string five goes down a tone to G. Otherwise it's kind of the same. Okay, cool. And this is the thing. I'll play it first, then you can check it out, see if you actually want to bother learning it. It goes a bit like this. So yeah, that's the kind of middle section, the big kind of uh, fret tappy bit. And uh, it's two things going on at the same time. Your left hand just does the same little repeating pattern over and over again which is a bit like this. It's uh, your index finger on string three, and your little hammer on out of nowhere, and uh, you pull it off. So you've got this. Your pinky is on string one, on the fifth fret, and it does this. Same kind of thing, up on fret five. So we got... And it does this little pattern between those two things, between, between those two strings, it goes... Give that a go, and then meanwhile, your right hand is going to come across here, and you're going to do this right hand fret tapping thing, starting off on string six, and then you use your middle finger and you tap on string four. And it goes a bit like this. I'll just put this bit together for you. Check out the tabs here as well. We've got fret five, fret seven, we go one string over, and then you do this on string six, you go back there and you go like this, fret seven, so we got, then we go up one fret to fret eight, put that together, then up to fret ten, then you go to fret ten, so back to string six, so we've got, Last little bit on fret eight, but back onto string five and string three. Put it together with the left handing tapping and it starts to come together. So we got, give that a little go, that very first bit. I'll go real slow. Okay, once you've got that, then try the next bit. Go real slow at first and just put it together. We got. And the last little bit. It's just a little symmetrical pattern going across the strings. I do a, uh, basically do this. I, I, I hammer on the third fret on string two. Then I go on to fret eight on string two, and I use my ring finger to, to pick string one. So I've got... And I just move the pattern down across the strings. I go really slowly if we're here. And then on string five, and then just pick the open string four. Then it kicks into the next section of the song. But yeah, I hope you have fun uh, checking that out and um, let me know if you get in trouble uh, come say hi on facebook.com forward slash Daryl Kelly or leave a comment see how you get on I'll catch you soon guys cheers